You're watching Terrier Vision. Welcome, Terrier fans, to this week's edition of Wofford Weekly. We're here with head coach Randy Hall, the Wofford Rifle Team, catching up with the Rifle Team this weekend. They'll go to the SEARC Championship. And, uh, Randy, first talk about the sport of rifle. Talk about, you know, a lot of people don't see it because you have to be very quiet. You're wearing, you know, the kids are in weight suits. It's, everything is very pinpoint, obviously, with, the, with this type of sport. Talk about what makes this so much different than, than the sports we're used to cheering and screaming and everything else. For. Sure, you are absolutely right. It is, you have to be very quiet. Uh, not a lot of distraction on the range, obviously. Uh, they do wear special shoes, special suit, shoes to keep their feet flat on the floor. Uh, a lot of concentration. The, the shooters are thinking about breath control, the trigger squeeze, staying very, very still, uh, and doing a lot of uh, mental work there. So it's about like watching paint dry, so it's not real exciting unless you're watching some real good shooters. If you watch some real good shooters, it's a work of art. And it is enjoyable just to watch how they do. They're shooting uh, a target about the size of a quarter at 33 and a half feet away. Uh, so it's, uh, it takes a lot of concentration there. You cannot even see the bullseye. It's about the size of a pinhead. Uh, so it takes a lot of concentration, a lot of dedication, a lot of practice, uh, a lot of dedication. And so that's what we're proud of our shooters. They, they practice uh, three or four times a week down here. Uh, on top of all their schoolwork. And another thing about rifle is it's a, it's a sport you can participate in well until your 70s or your 80s. As long as you've got eyesight, you can do it. Right. It's not like football. I mean, you know, 60-year-old men, 70-year-old men still get out and compete. We've got a philosophy. Every single shot, it's its own little match. Invariably, every one of these shooters is going to mess up. They're going to just hit a, hit a shot that's not as good as they'd like they got to think of the next shot as being completely a new match. Going into this weekend's uh, Southeastern Air Rifle Conference Championship down in, in Charleston, talk about uh, what you've seen. Uh, you've got two young shooters that are really having a good year for you. Talk a little bit about them. Okay, yeah, we do. We, we're uh, very glad to have two freshmen, uh, Tommy McKelvey out of, uh, out of Union High School here in South Carolina and Jim Stanley out of Xavier High School in Connecticut. And they are doing extremely well. The best freshmen we have ever had. Uh, of course, they've shot a long time, so they're very experienced coming in, which is unusual for us because a lot of times we have to teach them from the ground up. Some of these kids have never shot a rifle before. Uh, but these uh, two young people have. Tommy has a school record now. About her third match, she broke, uh, broke our long-standing record there, so we're very proud of those guys. And it's very much an individual effort this weekend. Uh, Jim is going in in the top ten in the conference. And so he wants to shoot a, uh, a good score this weekend so that he can go practice, or not practice, but he can go into the finals match, which is a match after the regular match for just the top 10 uh, in the conference. So we're hoping we'll have a top 10 finisher in the conference. We're here now with freshman shooter Tommy McKelvey. Tommy, you're from Union, South Carolina. Talk a little bit about how you got into the sport of rifle. Well, I started shooting when I was about six years old. My daddy decided to show me the movie Saving Private Ryan and teach me the safety and how to handle a weapon properly or a gun. And um, I just fell in love with it. You know, my daddy's girl. So I just started shooting um, on the rifle team in high school, well, in eighth grade. And then I joined again in high school. And I did it for four years. And here I am. Now, you broke the school record back in the fall. Talk a little bit about that round. Talk about, you know, the concentration level. We talked with, about, with that with Coach Hall earlier. Talk about how, uh, what goes into to a successful round like that. Um, honestly, I didn't expect to do that, but um, <laughs> it took a lot of concentration because, I mean, if you miss one, I mean, that's down a point each time you don't get 10. So pretty much I'd have to like hold it or whatever and just hold it, hold it, hold it. And then if it wasn't good enough, I'd have to reject it. And that's the, that's the hardest thing to do because you want to be able to pick it straight up and just shoot it, but you can't. You got to reject back shots, and that's one of the hardest things to do. Rejecting meaning you basically start over your sight. Right. Start over. Now, is there a time limit in, in rifle? Is, is there a time limit that you have to make a shot in? Um, for 60 shots, we have to shoot with unlimited sighters um, an hour and 45 minutes. So you can't take all day. No, but you have plenty of time yeah. to shoot pretty good shots.